Hello YouTube. It's funny how things work. You decide to stop picking and uh, the picking just starts coming to you. <laughs> I have some more stuff I picked up yesterday, um, but I'll have to do that on another video. I went, uh, I was, re I was really just going to work on my inventory that I have today, but I got a few calls and, uh, I told my mom I was going to come and see her, and that's kind of where things started going south as far as picking. Uh, I saw on the on the uh, marketplace there was uh, an advertisement there for new in the box, you know, and they had a photo of a table looked like maybe the leftovers from a yard sale or something. I couldn't really make out what all the items were, but I thought, well, if I'm if I'm going to run to my mom's that's on the way, I'm just going to stop by there and uh, take a look, see what they got. And I went in there and it was uh, it was a young couple and they had just started their uh, their business. They What they're starting out on is what most people start out on is pallets. And we did pallets and it was uh, long before uh, even coming back to Oklahoma. But we bought uh, pallets and we made some pretty good money on there. But man, it was just uh, so much junk left over. I mean, it would just take a fortune to get uh, get everything shipped out and and you know sold individually. You know, you got to lock that stuff up. There's just so much. Take all the broken stuff and just do yourself a favor and just get rid of it right away. But anyway, I would have loved to have sat and chat with them, but uh, I was kind of in a hurry today and I wasn't actually planning on picking yet. Uh, this morning I woke up and I, I saw a, uh, a guy had a GameCube and he wasn't asking much for it. So I drove over there and of course the GameCube that I'm looking at online is, uh, it's not it's not working right, but he does have a working one there that he wants to upsell me on. <laughs> and he didn't, he didn't, he had his son translating everything until the transaction was over and then he could speak English. So, but anyway, uh, I learned a couple things from him today. He had so much, uh, he had so much in this little room. It was like this. If you narrowed this, uh, this area down, even another couple feet or whatever, but one of the things that I had found out today is the other day I had uh, put up a video about these uh, these little action figures. They're wrestlers. I had no idea what they were, but apparently they are, you put your thumb in there, and they're little thumb wrestlers. So I thought, you know, when he told me that, I thought maybe you'd do the old, you know, thumb wrestling and set them uh, on your thumb and, you know, wrestle with them like that, which I guess you could. But he had he had a few of them. He had them all labeled out. They're vintage, and uh, I took those. And he also had some vintage wrestlers. I recognized them from the ones that uh, I shot another video about these uh, vintage wrestlers, and I'd put that up earlier. But they're older. They're probably uh, early '80s. WHO and he's and he went through took the time to go through and label every one of them Anyway, he cut me a good deal on the on the wrestlers and so I Started looking at his the other stuff that he had for sale and it wasn't uh, None of it was really for sale until the price was right. It was just funny. I, I don't know I, I get I get tickled over some of the, the dumbest stuff but anyway, I ended up picking his uh, his wrestlers up and I was going to lot them up with those, uh, I was going to lot these up with those wrestling rinks and stuff. If you haven't seen that video, if you go back, you'll be able to see the, uh, wrestlers. But what sold me on this GameCube, which is in excellent shape, works good, already tested it, um, is that he wanted 200 bucks. He wanted, he wanted a hundred for the GameCube itself. And then he wanted a hundred separate for the games. So I told him I'd look them up and four of the games that are in here, 
There's uh, 007 Soccer 2002 Knockout Kings Super Mario Brother uh, Super Smash Bros. This one uh, came out quite a bit of money. It was shocking. And then there's uh, Paper Mario. That one came out real good too. I mean, close to like a hundred bucks. Resident Evil. I believe it. It booked out like sixty dollars. And uh, Dead to Rights. And Tarzan. Untamed. Anyway, I'm going to split these games up between the two game cubes that I have and lock them up. Or uh, if somebody said, also he had the uh, memory cards inside the game cube there. A little bit of yellowing around the top right here, but it's in great shape. And he had two remotes. He had the uh, purple one and the silver one. Power supply. Everything was there, so it was good. So I, I took those and I... I told him that I was interested in his action figures, and he had uh, he had some vintage Batman, two of them. These are older, the knees bend and uh, elbows. This one, the uh, elbows doesn't bend, but on this one, it's fully functional. And this Batman seems like you know. It seems like a cheaper one, maybe from uh, from back in the 80s, but it is uh, nothing really bends on it. Head barely moves. It's real lightweight, but it does have the cape and stuff. It's a great display piece, I guess. Don't know who this guy is. It's got a rubber cape on it, and again, it's it's not uh, it's not fully functional. I have to look him up actually to find out who he is. He had a really old Superman there too. I guess you can uh, actually box with this one. But his knees move and he's functional. Has a rubber cape on the back. Oh, there's a button I didn't even notice. Probably needs batteries, I would imagine. Yes, has a battery hatch. And power switch. Didn't notice that about it, so kind of neat. And he also had a really cool old flash. And on this flash, he's got wings that fold into his arms back here, and he has uh, wings that come out when you pull this lever down. I don't know if I can make the lever go down. Oh, the back's trying to come out at the same time. Not the best design. Oh, it all flipped out earlier. But anyway. That's uh, that's how the, the wings work on him. I guess you fold those. Uh, I guess you fold those side pieces out before you uh, open him up. I probably screwed him up. I don't know. But anyway, I thought he was kind of neat. So he's pretty old. Anyway, uh, that's what I picked up this morning from the oh plus the. Uh, I picked up a whole bunch of comic books. They're stacked right there. I, they're newer, not that expensive, but he had taken uh, Doom 2099 and put it in a picture frame, I guess to make it more expensive. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number 33, put that in a picture frame. Looks like some gift wrap behind it. And Superman, upside down Superman. So that's kind of how the morning started off. And when I was on my way over to uh, see my mom, that uh, young couple that bought the uh, skids, everything was full asking price from eBay. You could just tell exactly as I looked it up, I would see the uh, prices on their unopened packages. And they had, uh, 
they had the exact prices that were listed. They're not sold comps, mind you. They're just selling what they see the you know the top price for is what they listed their skid at. I wanted to tell them it was going to be a, a long road there trying to get that out of uh, returns that are open and stuff. But they had all these glasses, whole entire thing of them. I guess they undervalued these because they were uh, they were well worth the money. And so I ended up buying the entire case of them, and there's 125s, 175s, 250s, and 3, plus 3 on them. They're just readers, but that's what I'm wearing right now, and I actually like these better. I can actually, I can actually see better <laughs> on some of these packages. But then once I got over there to my mom's, she had an old... She had an old uh, radio. It's got to be from the 80s. It says Budweiser on it. Uh, there's something in the back of it. It's probably just a protector or something. Or actually, it's there's a couple books back there. Yep, there's some books back there. An old uh, FR200. And it has a little built-in flashlight. Surprisingly enough, everything worked on it. Got a decent sound. Like missing a country song you love? Well, good news, people. Anyway, my mom gave me that. She also gave me a Iron Man she had picked up. I guess she watches my videos and sees them. But the uh, somebody had been in this guy before. I'd never seen one quite this big. I mean, here's the kind of the normal size, and here's the size of this Iron Man. So I took it, and I took it home and took it all apart. And it has a uh, cannon on it. Repulsors, full power. <laughs> Uh, whoever had had it had just reversed a gear in there. And there's another button on the front that you touch his power supply. Reloading system now. Scanning for possible threats. Guys light up. The chest plate lights up. But anyway, I, I think, uh, I don't know, you know, I hadn't bothered taking one apart before, but I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to keep this one. Just put it up in the background of the videos. And she also gave me a... Uh, Black Stormtrooper has the gun, too. Nothing moves on this one. The elbows don't bend. The knees don't bend. But a uh, nice uh, Star Wars display piece. But anyway, then when I got, once I got over there, uh, my sister was there, and she was like, well, I got a whole box up in the attic from, uh, from the 80s. And so I thought, well, I don't care what's in there. I'll take it. And uh, I bought it off of her, and... I brought it home and I was, I just thought I'd treat it like a mystery box and find out exactly what my sister flipped me in here. So I ended up with quite a bit today and now we're going to go, uh, we're going to get into this mystery box and see what all she had, uh, that my sister gave me. Uh, let's see. Limited edition figurine. This stuff is open, so... It's a baseball. It has a certificate in it. Mark Langston. Pretty big. Oh, this is... This is glass. Uh, Today's Superstar Series Set 3. Mark Langston. It feels like it's glass. It is... So, that piece. It looks like she threw an old car in here. It's a Corvette. Doors open. The wheels, there's a wheel to another car right there. Save that guy for later. Yeah, everything works on it. Looks like the trunk opens. Anyway, it's a little red Corvette. Tell me that didn't run a song through your head, a little red Corvette. Uh, let's see. What we, it's just what I needed is another bobblehead. The Red Hawks, Oklahoma. Chris Paul, Hornets, point guard. It's a bobblehead. It says Chesapeake Arena on it, so this is an Oklahoma deal. Or it was labeled for the games here. Pretty nice, pretty good shape. I don't know what any of this stuff is worth. I'll look through it. 
And I've got another set of this. This is, uh, I showed this on another video. This one, the packaging is a little bit damaged on it. But it's the uh, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, and Star Wars. Um, so I've got two sets of those now. There's another car in here. This one is Kurt Busch. Looks like a... That's funny. That looks like a little Solstice GXP, but it's not. It's a Ford. But just the way it looks, it looks like uh, looks like my old car. Anyway, there's that one. There's another player. Emmett. Don't know. Number 22. You guys know who he is. I can't read that. It's scribbled on there. Action figure. This is one of those rubber band types. It's got a little iron fist, probably some kind of wrestler. I'll put him over here with these open wrestlers. And here is a two faced guy that has no legs. Those from our three faces skeleton, green face, and Anyway, it's broken. There's some motorcycles in here. A little Harley Davidson, half packed. So a few of these motorcycles in here is another one. Nice shape. Nothing broken on them. Another little Harley, a green one, with saddlebags and floorboards, kickstand. Thanks, sis. I passed up cars this morning. Uh, this one is Racing Champions. I've got a whole bunch of these I haven't even done a video on or anything. I just got an entire tub of them. Looks like a older model car. Another hot rod. Hood opens on this one. It's open in there. Maybe the hood opens on that one as well. There's another... This is a state trooper, Harley Davidson. Another little action figure with the uh, rubber bands. Little green guy. Looks like he's uh, some kind of army guy. We'll put him over here. Just a black bottle. Here's what the tire goes to. It's an old Thunderbird. Yeah, well, it's not broken. It's got uh, it's got to line that hole up. Thunderbird. Yeah, the steering wheel works on this one. Hood opens to the front. Trunk opens to the front. It's even got a little license plate in there. Doors open. Oh, dropping wheels. Maybe the other wheel's down in there, or maybe I already dropped it. I don't know. We'll set that over here for now. Here's another uh, hot rod. Hood opens. It's open in there now. Looks like Jungle Book. I'd have to say, yeah, Jungle Book. It almost works. Maybe a little TLC and it will. Some more players in here. Number 11. It's got a spike on his foot, so he goes on one of these. Not that one. The spike's too big. There's these little paddles in there. This is number 11, football player. Another motorcycle. This one is a little Harley, a little red Harley Davidson. Everything's on it. It's only got half its packaging. Another Harley Davidson with settle bags. This one says police on it also.
Number 81, football player. Well, pretty good detail. We got ourselves a Volkswagen Bug. It's mounted on some kind of stand. Doors open, seats in it. Shouldn't that be the trunk? Engine in the back, engine's in the front on this little Volkswagen. Doors a little crooked there. It's all right. I don't know how long she's had this. I she gave me a couple cards here. Emmett Smith, two Emmett Smith cards. On wooden plaques. Another Harley Davidson. State Trooper. It's a black motorcycle. Everything looks good on it. It's got a little red and blue plastic on the front. Anyway, I'll mess with the stuff later. But it's uh, back tires off of the rim. There. It is new. Let's see. That's an odd one. A long, skinny car. If I went to a track or something. Another car. Just a little plastic. Transform Racing. I don't think it transforms. It's got some buttons on the top. Uh, it's another little car. Number seven. Little stop car. Here's a little Indian. Arms move. Nothing else seems to move on. Holy moly. It works. No cap gun. Remember these when I was a kid? This one needs to be sprayed out. But, uh, yeah, it pushes the roll of caps up. I actually pull the trigger and pops them. Huh. That's pretty old. Gonna have to check that out. See if that's any good. Put that guy right there. See, this one is another Harley Davidson. Everything looks like it's in good shape on it. Shocks even work. They have springs on them, so I'll have to find out who made those. Here's another plate to the uh, football player. Here's a Christmas ornament, Dan Marino from Hallmark. I think those are a little bit pricey. Here's another one of those long cars. They must have been little dragsters or something. A little work truck. Nothing opens on it. Just a little shelf piece or maybe you run it down the track. Crazy looking Hot Wheel. Looks to be in good shape. No red circles on the wheels. Another Volkswagen, hood opens, and it looks again like the they molded the engine in the front. I don't think that's right. So there's two Volkswagens there. A case down in here or something. Some red shoestrings. There's another one of those long cars. I have to look those up. I have no idea. Another Harley Davidson, and it looks like a football helmet. That was one of these guys. I would imagine it goes right there. Little football helmet. And there's some odds and ends in here. Some looks like pretty old matchbox. Best 
Two little yellow matchboxes. Yeah, there's the uh, Warthog from, uh, I can't remember, was it the Jungle Book or, uh, I can't remember, it's a cartoon. Had to work with another one of those long cards. There's a few of those in here. I have to look these up and find out what they are. Looks like the uh, rest of this is going to be, I don't know, maybe there's some red lines in here or something. That would be neat. Just one of those long ones, a little red one. Here's a little uh, number 57. Little race car. I don't know who made it. Another football player. His uh, face mask did not fare well in the bottom of the box. Oh, I see. You just snap it back in there. Stahlback, number 12. There's one of the legs to the, the little three-faced guy. That is definitely Hot Wheels. Nice shape. 50th anniversary race champions. Got a little certificate in there. 1953. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's a uh, Thunderbird trunk open. Or the uh, yeah, the trunk's open on it. Looks like a little F355. The doors raised, yeah. Little Ferrari needs to be straightened up a little bit. There you go. It also didn't fare well in the bottom of the box. It's missing a little hatch on the back, I think. A little vent cover. It might be in here. <clears throat> Another purple one. Long car. Blue one. There's two of those blue ones there. Uh, this is a cape to a uh, superhero. Looks like it was one of those guys I threw over there. And here is a uh, basketball player. He's missing his basketball. His arms move. Yeah, I think he's supposed to be holding the basketball. This one is uh, it's Matchbox. There's the other leg to the uh, <clears throat> to the guy. So the rubber bands, that's old. So rubber bands broken on it. So there's not probably any fix in this. Best case scenario, if you collect something like this, it'd be best just to glue these legs back on. Then they wouldn't move. <clears throat> and case of cars there's another this is not a harley davidson i don't think i think it's a little kawasaki handlebars bent a little bit on that one it's been bottom of the box everything else looks like it's in good shape looks like it's uh yeah it's got a little you rev it up let's see matchbox ferrari battery case to something refreshment at every turn coca-cola nascar bottom of the box this is a trunk piece to one of those harley davidson's it's broken off it's got a little antenna on it, it says 911 on the back of it <clears throat> and another football player stand and one more of those long cars that just rolled over on the deal let's see if these are red lines I don't think so definitely old matchbox not hot wheels oh pretty old Yeah, I'm going to have to get a magnifying glass and look at these dates on there. These things are, these are pretty old cars. A little dragster in here. Matchbox. 
my Matchbox made drag strips. Let's see this side. That's pretty old. Some kind of little hauler. That one is Hot Wheels. Can't make out the date though. Fire engine or something. Anyway, I'm going to probably get around to putting. There we go. Red lines on the wheels. Red line there. Old Batmobile. Looks like it's been painted or something. I don't know. Anyway, we'll go through these later. It's going to be a pretty long video, so uh, if you like seeing this kind of thing, uh, give me a like down there. If not, thanks for watching.